Titan's flagship jewellery company Tanishq is today one of India's most prominent jewellery sellers. In financial year 2022, it had a record revenue of 23,268 crore rupees. In fact, it accounted for more than 80% of Titan's revenue. That's a massive chunk of revenue share. But do you know that at one point of time, Tanishq was a loss-making company and was almost shut. In 2000-2001, Titan, the parent company, lost 150 crore due to Tanishq's poor performance. But today, Tanishq has become Tata's crown jewel. So how did this change happen? What strategies did Tanishq use to become the successful and India's popular jewellery brand? Let's check out. Tanishq was started in 1994, but it did not take off well. Sales were low and losses were mounting. Primarily because of two reasons. Reason number one, 18 karat gold jewellery. Tanishq started its business by selling only 18 karat gold jewellery, which is supposed to be more durable and scratch resistant. But we Indians consider gold not just as an ornament, but also as an investment. Hence, higher the carat, bigger the investment. Because of this thinking, Indians always prefer 22 karat over 18 karat products. Reason number two. In the 1990s, the gold jewellery was highly unorganized. People trusted local jewellers rather than brands when it came to buying jewellery. So Tanishq struggled in the initial years and it mounted a loss of 150 crore to Titan in 2000-2001. In 2002, Titan got McKinsey on board to study Tanishq's failure. And after McKinsey's presentation, the then CEO of Titan, Xerxes Desai, decided to make some changes. The first change Mr. Desai made was introducing 22 karat jewellery in all Tanishq stores. This move did help Tanishq, but this was not enough. Tanishq needed to win customers' trust. So Tanishq introduced a device called Karameter in all their stores to make that happen. It was a gold purity testing device. Tanishq ran ad campaigns asking people to bring in their old jewellery and get it tested for free. As usual, gold ki purity check karne ke liye, maine use hamare carat meter mein dal diya. 22 carat ka gold, 18 ka nikla. Ab bhi aayye Tanishq. The campaign responded perfectly and footfall at Tanish stores increased quickly. But, 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 Tanish sales were not increasing and the lack of sales were due to Karameter idea itself. Although many customers visited the Tanish stores for the gold purity test, most were disappointed after realizing that their gold was less pure than the local jewelers promised. So Tanish was making the customer aware of the problem rather than solving the problem. So to increase sales, Tanish came up with impure to pure scheme. As per this scheme, if a customer brings less than 22 karat and more than 19 karat jewellery, Tanish will offer the customer 22 karat gold jewellery in exchange for the old jewellery. The customer will be needed to pay just the making charges. This scheme hit the bullseye for Tanishq. Customers loved the scheme. And who wouldn't? When you are getting additional karat of gold, that too for free. But wait a minute. Customers were getting additional karat of gold for free, which meant Tanishq was bearing all the cost. So then, how was this scheme profitable to them? Check this out. In 2003-2004, when this scheme was introduced, the cost of 10 gram 24 karat gold was 5,600 rupees. That means the cost of 10 gram 22 karat gold was 5,133 rupees. Now Tanishq was upgrading gold between 19 karat to 22 karat. So let's assume customer wanted to upgrade his gold from 20 karat gold to 22 karat gold. So the cost of 10 gram of 20 karat gold was 4,666 rupees. So the cost Tanishq had to bear is 467 rupees. So by bearing the cost of 467 rupees, Tanishq was able to get a lifelong customer. So with the scheme's help, Tanishq sales increased yearly. It was able to win the trust of the customers. Today, Tanishq holds a 3.2% market share, led by Kalyan jewellers with 3.7% of the market share. But as per the World Gold Council, Tanish today has the maximum number of chain stores in 209 Indian cities. Not just that, Tanish has been ranked 22nd in the list of 100 global powers of luxury goods. Other competitors like Kalyan Jewellers, Joya Lucas, PC Jewellers and Tribhuvan Das Bhimji Zaveri has been ranked 37th, 46th, 57th and 92 respectively. Once a loss-making company, Tanishq has now become Titan's primary revenue generator. Riding on the performance of Tanishq, Titan's share also gave great returns. So that's how Tanishq, with the help of his strategies, became one of the biggest jewellery brands in India.